Now I've finished parting the hair on the right. I'm going to have you put your head straight and get the new prep, skin prep. Squeeze out a bit onto a paper towel. And I'm going to put enough that covers the entire Q-tip. And when you're using this, you may want to try it on your hand first to see how gritty it actually is. It's a little abrasive. We want to clean the skin off in each area. However, you want to be very careful when you're work working on the forehead because a lot of times that skin is a little more sensitive. So you want to do a lighter pressure when you're prepping the forehead. I'm going to have you turn your head to the right. And I'm going to start on the front here. You want to go back and forth, forth 10 or 15 times, applying a mild pressure. Sometimes you may want to lift the brain net up and go underneath it. You may have a better angle when prepping. And the goal is to prep the skin well enough now so when you attach the electrodes, they have a very good low impedance. Sometimes if you don't press hard enough or add enough new prep, you have to go back, remove the electrode, and reapply again. And that takes time and makes a little bit more of a mess. Now I have all the electrode spots prepped and now we're going to bring the jack box over to the bed. And I'll just tape it down with the right side of the electrodes on the right and the left on the left. Tape it down to the bed. And I'm going to lay the left electrodes down to her left side and the right ones over to the right. And now we'll begin electrode application. So get the 1020 conductive paste. And put an amount, small amount onto a paper towel. And it's best to apply the ground electrode first and then the CZ electrode. So I'm going to go ahead and start with that. And Madison, these just stick on, on your head. They don't hurt. OK? You don't feel anything. And the ground is the gray wire right on the forehead. And you want to put a pea-sized amount of paste in the electrode cup so that there's some excess over the edges. And then when you put it on the patient's head, you don't want to press down too hard. You want it to float a little bit above the scalp. Now we'll go ahead and look at our impedance screen. And our CZ and our ground are both green, so we know the impedances are good. So what I'm going to do next is take some of the cover roll stretch that we've pre-cut, take the backing off, and use the EC2 electrode cream as an adhesive on the back of the sticky side of the cover roll stretch. Just run a medium amount on the back of the cover roll stretch. This will go right on top of the brain net over the electrode cup and wire. And when the EC2 cream dries, it adheres very nicely to the brain net for long periods of time. So you just need to repeat this process with each electrode. I'm going to apply the F FP2 or the red electrode on the left frontal. You just pull one electrode out at a time. Sometimes they get a little bit tangled at the end, but if you just move slowly, they will come right out. Okay, and you can check your impedance. And the electrode that I just applied is 9. It's yellow. 
So let's see if it comes down. If it doesn't come down to green, I will need to just prep a little bit more with the new prep and the Q-tip in, or, in order to make it a low enough impedance. So it looks like it's staying at 7. I'll just reprep it quickly, removing the electrode and then just applying a little extra pressure. Get one of your 4x4 four four gauze squares, get the excess prep off. You need to add a little bit more of your EEG paste and reapply. And now I'll watch the impedance one more time. Yes, it's green, so I can go ahead and put my pre-prepared strip right over the electrode. And just turn your head to the right. And I'm going to continue applying the entire left side. moving the hair out of the way as I go. Checking my impedance, and it's good. Go ahead and repeat this process until you have all the electrodes applied. Okay, now that we have all the electrodes attached and the impedances are all good, they're green and they're below, below 5 kilo ohms, we're going to gather the wires at the top of the head and tape them together. So just kind of gather them all up to the black square at the top of the head. You don't want to get any hair in there and tape the wires together. And start taping the wires at the top, working your way down toward the jack box.